Welcome to Tybalt's Apprentice. That's right, another life gain deck. It's hard to uh, stay away from them because they they work so well. Um, but we're going to find an improvement with this deck that I made there, that I found here. Um, you know, the standard standard drill. Going to get your enchantments on the board right away. Actually get your creatures. Get your, uh, let's get as many bodies as we can, as wide as we can. Or we'll give them a chance to counter our spells right away. That's what we'll do. Uh, okay, so let's get this and get some life gain. We're going to build that up with as many 1-1 one -one counters as we possibly can. Uh, a little sad not to see uh, more land, but well, they're going to syncopate that. That's fine. Um, all right. I can still... Oh, they took the hit. Nice. Uh, well, of course they did, because they have all the land and I've got none. That's all right. I'm not going to complain. I'll complain about my computer graying out, and then I'll complain about having things thrown away. But there's so much redundancy. Well, that's not good. Maybe this isn't the best example of how this deck should be played. Let's put this down now. Let's uh, pick that off if we can. And... Um, Wow, how fast are they going to eat our deck? Um, it's interesting that they're not following up with anything else. They're down to just a few cards in hand. Let's do this, and we'll just keep hacking away at keep hacking away at their planeswalker and see what they can do about it. Doesn't seem to be anything. All right, let's do this. Put a one-one counter on here, and um, or we could just, you know, get rid of that. However, get rid of that. Still get the triggers. Still can get rid of this. We've got them on the back foot now. It They could uh, actually touch the city's laughter. Is that what I'm afraid of now? Maybe. Could be worth it to drop this down and gain a little bit of life. I'm gonna let that happen so I'll gain some more life and uh, put some more counters out there. And there's really nothing new until we add the Prince Charming later on, and that's in the bonus material. We see them digging, 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 and this is going to get countered. Of course it is. All right, that's all right, though. I will draw a few cards, and yeah, game over, man. Okay, that's not most exceptional it's uh it's what you have to do to get it done Let's collect a little bit of our goods we'll jump right back in here how are you folks doing today hope uh hope your life is not nearly as stressful as ours we're packing up and moving at some point but we've got to buy houses and we're not going to do anything with this hand because that is lame all right we need at least two lands to get going up against white all right going to be a mirror match Probably so. Oh, not with that red. Going to be up against Boros. All right. The idea is to get as fast as we can to 27 life. Get up here where we can make five life a turn so we can create some angels. Uh, going to rely on that one ring to get us out of any... Never mind. All right. So, and the computer grays out. Lovely. All right. Here we go. I really need to upgrade my system. Maybe I'll do that once I move. Let's put this on the board so at least we're gaining life as creatures leave the battlefield. We'll see if that doesn't make a difference. This, no, we're, we're not making a difference here. Uh, all right, I've got to get as much damage as fast as I can, get as much life as I can. Uh, I really need my... Uh, and really need my stuff on board, but I guess I'll take the life gain. Let's drop this. I really would like to have some mana to be able to uh, combat this, but you know, arena doesn't always give you the land that you need. Of course, people would say that's poor shuffling on your part if you're getting consistent land drops in real life. It's the uh, well, it's the way the matchmaker. Eh, you know what? Never mind. Gonna back off of that. It's fine. Uh, we have a chance here, do we? Yeah, let's put, uh, 
put a counter on here, put a counter on there. Gonna draw a couple of more cards. Let's get this on the board. I'm you know, usually when there's one Wrath of God, there's there's two or five. But down to 12 life. They are they are working the heck out of those tokens, man. Uh, but down to 20 life. They're still at 12. Feeling confident. Not feeling as confident. Down to two life. And there, like I said, one Wrath of God deserves another, doesn't it? Um, that was not <laughs> way to end the game. Uh, all right. We can make improvements. We can collect our goodies, our foundation stuff. What do you guys think of foundations? Is it, uh, is it doing it for you? Eh. So that half of it being reprints and half of it newer stuff, I'm only half interested in it. Uh, okay, let's try this again and see if we can't cook up a more interesting game. Let's maybe cook up one where you can see. There we go. Get our Soul Warden on board so that they give us life as well as, or you could just take stuff out of my hand. I can see that those alchemy cards are the ones that... Uh, are gonna get wow well <laughs> that's me giving him the finger just every time you see that snoring icon <laughs> you know if that's what I'm thinking on the other end let's do this uh, are they gonna counter spell it they're playing oh of course they are all right that's fine we will keep hacking away at them uh, in this case we want uh, 2735 life is what we want to get to so we can just pick off all the stuff on their Never mind, that goes away too. Well, what's the worst that could happen? Are they building to an approach of the second sun? Or are they building to Let's put one of these on board? Give it a little bit, a little bit of swing in. There we go. Eight life. Easy peasy. This is going to be, um, is this going to be over? Not quite. We're up to six. Uh, we get them down to one life. Eight life. Six, seven. Um, bam, bam, bam. Down to one life. Nice. Um, oh, I, expletive, expletive, extra expletive. Okay, so, can we dig our way back out? Well, they're only at one life. We can do this. We can close this out, right? Put another body on board. How many times can they wipe the board consecutively? Well, if they put that in the deck, that's gonna go away. And if they ping that and exile it, well, that's not good for us, is it? All right, so, we're trying to get that clock tower. We've gotta to get that one point of life. If I can put two things on the board every turn, I should be fine, right? No problem. Oh, unless they're going to take that out and <laughs> back in the deck. Uh, okay, so it's a race against time. If they... Oh, never mind. All right, this will let us dig for cards a little bit faster. We can do this. So, put this on board. I don't, I don't appreciate that. Okay, uh, let's see if we can make another body. And... Uh, there's, there's a lot of expletives that started flying at this point. Um, yeah, Planeswalkers. Well, you already know how I feel about them. And uh, don't like having my stuff exiled, but you know what? You got to play around them, right? You got to be better than they are. You've got to build some redundancy in your deck. And um, my redundancy comes in the form of the one ring, I guess. Put this on board, and uh, I'm going to keep that for the card draw. I don't have anything big here. That's the problem. When you lean heavily into life gain, you either win quickly or you lose agonizingly slow. What has he played? Like eight of those so far this turn? This game? You would think one, one life I could finish the game out, right? I'm at 25. Uh... It's interesting that they are... Are they going to swing in for that? Yeah, they are. All right. I was going to say, it's interesting that they're holding back to this point. Oh, the one ring. That's why. 
That's why that was foolish. All right, let's see what else I can do. If I can get to 27, I can wipe the board. I've got no way of protecting this right now. Let's put this down. Let's create a creature. That'll give me some life and some energy. Build this up. All right, fair, fair enough. On to the next one. All right, as they, dang it. What the heck is going on there? All right, my go, well, you know how I feel about this. There's me giving the finger again and again. And this is when I get petty and small. This is why arena is not good for me. It brings out the absolute worst in in my competitive nature. That's why I start throwing kisses. Yeah, it's uh, la la la. I am bored out of my mind. I, I, I'm glad you stuck with me this far because there is a payoff. I, uh, spoiler alert. Well, I won't say there's a payoff necessarily here. There is a bonus, some bonus content after this because I realize I need a little more oomph for, for this game, for this deck. Another, ah, uh, for, for, oh, where about? All right, I need a little bit more payoff uh, in this deck. I need something else, I need some other gimmicks. I need this to go away. At this point, I've probably lost interest and I'm now, you know, perusing some other web page at this point. Um, these people that tell you your go just... Oh. Anyhow. Yeah, sure, I'll get rid of that. Fine. They only have one life. I can easily close this out if they stop casting frickin' Planeswalkers. Oh, I see. You get Planeswalkers, but I don't. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. I can deal with this. This is when I start getting upset and I start losing my mind. Sure, draw all the cards. I don't care. Because I do. All right. Well, uh, oof, oof, oof. All right, just take all your counters. All right. Let's put this down so we can't swing in hard. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that because that life loss due to the counters on there is bad. It's always bad for me. Let's get some energy. Uh, put a counter on there. I I need I need more life faster. Let's buff up the creatures. They've got three. They are massive. I think if he just swings in on me, they'll put me on my back foot. But he wants to play it safe. It's building him up to be massive. Actually, it doesn't matter if he swings in right because I've got the ring protecting me. Sure, I I love hey, having you do that eight times in a game. It's wonderful, and yeah, you're not doing any damage to me because I uh, going into meltdown mode. Calm down. I got this right. I can do this one point. All I get is one point of damage. I just pull that white lightning bolt out of my deck. It doesn't exist. So, oh. I Okay, flyers. He doesn't have flyers. I've got this. Are you? Are, are, ah! All right. At least it goes back in my hand. All right. Let's put this down again. It's gonna give me some life. Let's do this. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we got this. Let's just swing in and dead right now. Game over. Man, that was brutal. Whew. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, they should have just swung in and attacked. All right, take a look at the deck. The deck is all the same old stuff that you've seen. Actually, it occurs to me that I need something to give this deck just a little more boost, a little bit more power. Being able to pull stuff out of the graveyard is great, except everybody's using exile effects. Let's, let's do this. Let's tweak one thing here. One thing, one small change to this deck. It's gonna make all the difference. I just know it. Uh, can I spell? Let's see, yep, charm. Let's make this deck more charming. There we go. All right, what are we gonna take out? We've got four ofs and um, 
I don't know. They they didn't. Redundancy is important, but I just don't feel like I'm hitting them with the consistency that I need to. Let's let's do this. We'll take away multiple things, so we still have a good chance of drawing them. That's three things. We'll throw pr three Prince Charmings in there, and we'll take a look at this bonus game. So we did two out of three. We won two out of three. This small change, let's find out. Got it in my opening hand. Got another one in my opening hand. Only have two land though. Is this going to work? We're up against green, so we're pretty safe. Let's put this on the board. Let's take advantage, get some life. Uh, let's see where. I don't need that yet. It's more important that I have the land that I need to be able to cast spells. There is a hierarchy of play, right? I mean, there are things that are important, like hitting your land drops, drawing your cards, and then worry about the other stuff afterwards. All right, if I get this on the board, that's going to give me more life. At this point, can I start a loop? So even if... Yeah, even if they wipe out my creatures, I've got him coming back back and uh, yeah I'm a little little I'm not gonna say safe from board wipes but I do think what are they doing some kind of red some girl reanimator stuff oh ouch um wow that's a big hit you know what I can take it all though this comes back at the end of their turn. Let's bounce this out. I gotta hope that it gives me the energy to pull this off. We're gonna drop this down. Uh, swinging with everything, I need, yeah, I need as much life as I can possibly get. Bring this back, phase that out. Still only got three energy though. If they pull that off again, I am dead. Nope, they're going to upgrade. Alright, fair enough. Surely, alright, their strategy is to go wide. One big hit and then they go wide. Well, this is why life gain is so dang important. Having more than three mana is also important, but I'm not going to get that this time. Life gain, yes. Hit him as hard as much as we can. And uh, let's make an angel. And bring that back. Yeah, this little loop, I think, is buying me the time that I need. Back up to 39. I can take another big hit like that. I think adding that... Really? All right, that's fine. Adding that Charm Prince in there is going to give me more wins on a consistent basis. I can say that unequivocally. Uh, ooh, that is a big freaking hit. And that Trample... Um, I'm going to eat what I can. I'm at 41 though, so I am feeling safe and fine. And I'm going to say thanks for watching. Game over, man. Yeah. All right. So um, do we really need to look at any more of this deck? Uh, I need to remind you, of course, if you're going to buy cards, go to TCG Player and search Seller Dark Ritual. It's me in California. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll look at it for a second. Um, it's the Charming Prince that's looping. It makes a little bit of a difference, and that's really it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time, or look forward to having you back next time. Like, leave a comment. Talk to you later.